going to be Larry White going to the top side in a turn number. Whoa, Jan Bilodeau, heavy ride. He gets upside down in turns one and two, and red lights are on. Pathero will bring the field to the pole position raceway firing point. Feature racing action underway here at the high banks of the Fulton Speedway. A little change in the schedule tonight, the way we do things, but again with the added uh, events and just a little extra lap and more little track time for the uh, novice sportsman tonight as Ryan Hatherell and Dwight Nichols come on down the front straightaway. Trying to roll his way to the top spot, that is Joey Ponacario as Hatherell way up the hill in turn number three, door is open, Ponacario rolls through it, new leader Joey Bonagario here. Yeah, he's starting to drive it in a little bit deeper. Each lap there in the corner entry uh, is now Riggs trying to high side of the speedway for the lead. How the rail right there. Well, Page throw a blanket over the top four. Two laps to go. Joey Bonagario is light from the outset, but uh, he could be upset before this one's over. That pass will give the meatball indigestion as it's gonna be Riggs with the advantage. Checker flag coming out for Riggs. Buona Guerrero second, LePage third, Hatherell fourth. Feature winner number one, Richie Riggs. Wasn't really working anywhere the first half of the race and I figured I'd have to try the high side. Everyone else was on the bottom and last five laps really came around. Here we go, green flag is out. And we're racing. And Strickler trying to shuffle his way into the bottom of the speedway. Dorian Wood on says no, sir. As Thompson looking away by Zacharias, the top opens up for Tay Jackson. She's trying to strike. Zacharias crossing over right in front of Jackson. Oh, and they made contact with the front wheels. Oh, Michelle Corsi included as well as Charlie Tibbetts. So we have uh, four cars here on the front straight away. Wooden went on slips. That might have been costly. It was as Decker goes around him. However, went on trying to storm right back between three and four. Thompson from Oswego will pick up the win. The battle for second. Going right down to the wire with John Strickler. Coming home second, Charlie Tibbetts. Tyler Thompson. Oh yeah, at the start, it was kind of tight, but I made it work. And then caution came out with I forgot who, and that put me up to um, I'm pretty sure third. And from there, it was just good. To kick off Napa Auto Parts neighbor uh, storage containers night here at the High Banks. We're underway. 25 laps of action coming away as Timmy Guru tries to take the early lead, but young Brent Draper works on the top side of the racetrack. Side by side, Crispin and Diger for that number two and three position. They're side by side by side, two by two by two. Looks like they're going to Noah's Ark to where they're coming down the front straightaway. It's gonna be Timmy Guru leading lap number one. Jeremy Diger is starting to amp it up. He is starting to run the high road, building up momentum. He's gonna take the lead off of two here on lap number 19. Here comes Joe Klein under Draper. Off of turn number four in the 22, J of Jeremy Diger picks up the feature win. Second place goes to Timmy Garou. Well, I hit the line in one and two uh, on the first lap and I knew it was gonna be really fast. I didn't want to give it away to any of the guys behind me. Stars and cars of the 2016 Lucas Oil Empire Super Sprint Tour. Ready to let it loose at the chalk line. We're there, we're green. We are racing with the Lucas Oil Empire Super Sprint. They charge up into turns number one and two. White rockets to the outside, and Larry White takes the advantage down the back stretch. Three wide now for the runner of the third spot as Barney dives below Axon and the 45 of Heaving off the turn. Lap one, Larry White, your race leader. You're right, as we got a yellow out on the speedway. Car upside down on the back stretch. No idea what transpired, but that's the 26 of Lee Sanders. Now White goes to the bottom of the speedway, sees that Barney's making some momentum there on the bottom, so White shuts the door and he'll lead on lap number 10. So 10 are in, they work into turns number one and two. White goes around the outside. Barney really's got to park it down there on that inside rail. Larry White went pit side. Damn. Right rear flat. Wow. Barney, Poyer off of turn number four will green and immediately 
lead. Barney goes right to the bottom into turn number one. Barney parks it on the bottom, tries to catch the moisture. He loses one spot, and now Heaving tries to go by as well as they work down into turns number three and four. And off the turn, Checkered is out. The win goes to the fireball, Steve Boyer. Second to Heaving, third to Barney. Well, he's out, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a nice hand. Your A-Main feature winner, driving the number 28 FM, it's Steve Fireball Poirier. Pretty, pretty lucky tonight. I think I lost an engine there. Was running on seven cylinder at the end, but track was so slippery that it was probably just helping me. I, was, I just didn't know if I should get out leading. It's pretty hard to get to kind of uh, leave the race there. The engine just survived. Hopefully it's not a major thing, but uh, oh, that looked bad. And bring the field to full song. Off at turn number four, we are underway. Down in at turn number one, it's Alan Fink. He'll walk the middle line and look at Okino trying to make it a three car battle down the back stretch. He'll split Coit and the 95 of Aaron Backus, then go immediately to the bottom of the speedway. He might lead this lap off of four. He does. Okino from fourth to first on lap number one. Bumper to bumper as Parker's is rolling on in. Oh, Alan Fink hopped the cushion and Parker's takes the lead off of turn two. Can Wush come back now? Wush trying to come right back after him. Swings it on the outside of the racetrack. Can't do it there, loses some real estate. Coming into the checker. Swing to the outside. Fink to the outside, can't do it. Comes across the line. Matt Parker's picks up the win. Coming up second is Fink. Um, overly excited at the moment. I mean, this is one of the most enjoyable wins I've ever had. Uh, the late models are a very, very difficult car to drive. This is our first year in one, and I never would have thought that we were going to be a winning car seven weeks into the season. This is pretty much a dream come true. <laughs> Coming in three and four, let's go racing! Green flag is out here for the Tracy Road Equipment. Big block modifieds as they roll down into turns one and two. It'll be the 24 of Jim Whitco leading the way down the back stretch. Here comes a three wide battle for third. Look at the X Men, Chad Phelps. He'll try to split the difference there off a of turn four. Willie Decker in trouble. Oh, and Nick Matters worst of four of Murphy slams into him after. Things are falling into place here for Ryan Phelps as we're getting into the month of July. Three wide for fourth. Jimmy on the bottom, Whitco in the middle, Ryan at the top side. Ryan goes around it, he's fourth. Jimmy Phelps to fifth. Ferguson moves up to number six position. Kerr goes back to seventh. Mike Bowman takes the lead off turn number two. Power move there for Bowman in the premier Yankee number 16. Worked really hard to get the car back to where he needed it to. Couldn't handle it off before, however, as the X-Man Chad Phelps just a tick quicker off that exit of the corner. Searson to take a different line with that lamp car and it costs him on exit of turn two. Jimmy Phelps to the extreme bottom. He'll take the lead at the line. 26 laps down, Jimmy Phelps leads for the first time. Oh, he took the lead away from Tommy Sears, and Sears hopped the cushion. Now, Jimmy Phelps to the lead. Now, Jimmy Phelps looking to turn it all around. Checker flag ready to come out, the big checker flag waves for Jimmy Phelps. Comes on second is Sears, third to be White. Pure feature with a 98H, the Beeville Bandit, Jimmy Phelps. He went to the top in three and kind of let me get a run on him inside, get the preferred lane going on in the three, and we were able to make it stick. And I mean, that was really the, the key to the deal. But, you know, the key to the deal was just we caught some breaks early and got to the front and kind of put ourselves in play. If you get held up here, it's kind of tough to get, you know, especially I think green to checker, one yellow, whatever.